Hey, Mercy Road, I wanted to share with you very briefly the story of how the Expand the Vision campaign came about. Maybe you've heard at the church that we're trying to raise $450,000 uh, by the end of the year to make an impact in our community. And two thirds of that is going outside the walls, a third of that is going inside the walls. We've shared that $200,000 is going to church planting, $50,000 is going to local mission through uh, Inside Out Recovery. Kevin Eckless was making six figures as an engineer, doing very well in life, was compelled by God to try and impact inmates, men who were getting out of prison, to help rehabilitate them back into society and to share his faith. $50,000 of the end of your campaign uh, is going to go to the rehabilitation center and the renovation of it. We're gonna send teams there. We're not just gonna give financially, we're gonna give our time and talents. Uh, but Inside Out Recovery, Google it. We're so excited for how God is gonna use that to make an impact here in the state of Indiana for men uh, getting out of prison to help rehabilitate them into society and see them come to know Jesus. And the $50,000 is going to our global mission partners, including a missionary uh, living in a, a country that is 99% Muslim. In fact, their well went out uh, on their farm, and this is going to help fix that well so they can have water for that farm where they're ministering in a place that's very difficult to live as a Christian. Uh, $15,000 of that is also going to go to South Africa to build a church building uh, for the very kids that came and sang here this fall from the Kuasa Kids Choir in South Africa. Uh, the pastor that was there that weekend, we're actually going to help them have a church building. They don't have one, and this will build it for them. $15,000 will do that. Um, we're also giving to Significant Marriage, that was one of our global partners that's ministering to families in need all over the world, including in parts of the eastern part of Europe where there aren't many Christian churches. And so it is going to make an impact. You may have also heard that $150,000 is going to go towards finishing our facility, including the exterior of the building with graphics, working with the city uh, to have those installed. In fact, we, the big part of that project is finishing the kitchen. Uh, right now, we have everything right behind me. There is a space to have like a commercial kitchen. It's all the stuff is already there except for the appliances and the installation of those. This will actually have a, an amazing kitchen for our volunteers. Uh, we're, we're gonna buy and use, we're, we're not gonna do some big fancy thing, but we want to have a kitchen here at the church. And then the big one to me, Mercy Kids, you may not realize this, but for our church our size, you walk into our kids space and there's nothing on the walls, the, the lobby is completely bare, there's no um, counter in there. We would like to do some things to make it a much better experience for first time families coming in who are entrusting us with their children. Most kids, in fact, it's in the 80% uh, of children, uh, of people who come to follow Jesus as adults, gave their life to Christ before they become teenagers. So kids' ministry is a huge, it's the most important thing in some ways we do all weekend. And so we need to invest more into that. And so I have a huge heart for that. Talk to me about that. Um, it, it really excites me. And so I wanted to share this with you to, to explain how we came about to these items, why $450,000 and why now. Um, every year we have an end of year campaign to, to give funds away to make an impact for those in need. Uh, it, it's a great way for those who are looking to make tax deductions by the end of the year. But when we began to pray about it, somebody approached us uh, that they were going to make a large gift towards church planting. And they decided they'd like to work that into our end of year campaign and said they would enlarge even what they were going to give if we would have a bigger vision, expand the vision for what we could do as a church and really challenge our church community to make a big impact. And so they said, we'll, we'll give $150,000 if you will consider expanding what you're going to do. And I got to be honest, that has never happened to me ever since we've planted this church. And so I, I thought the best thing for our church family would be, yes, let's go for it. This is an answer to prayers of what we should do. And now we knew that we needed to raise a, a large amount of money, and, uh, including church planting. And, and then the other items that we were hoping to accomplish in the end of year, which is always to further our local and global mission opportunities. And so at one time we thought we would go for $300,000 and we'd have 150 of it. But the more we began to talk, if we were really going to challenge ourselves and expand the vision, 
We give so many resources away as a church. Most churches, when they do an end of year campaign, almost all of it goes in house. And they'll throw in like five or 10% giving outside the walls of the church uh, because it, they always keep it in house. We don't do that. And so, but I began to realize I don't want to shortchange what God has been doing in our church. In fact, uh, one of the things I'm just excited about to share with you, uh, we applied for a grant through the Center for Congregations and we just received a grant to help with the cost of the design work for the whole building. So it, it's like God has lined all of these things up. It, it happened at this period of time. I wouldn't have chosen this time. If I didn't know we were raising $450,000, I'd have planned it a year ago and we would have like had like dinners and done the whole thing. But uh, six weeks ago, we knew that this is what God was asking us to do right now. And we knew that this would make the biggest impact uh, for what we could do over the course of the next year or two. And so I'm calling on you, if, if you at all have prayed about to really think about what you and your family, what could I do, God, for such a time as this to make an impact with the resources you've entrusted me with? To be completely frank with you, man, it wasn't even good timing for my wife, Lisa, and I. And we've begun to pray, and we figured out a way to make some donations that we were kind of saving for retirement, really. And we're just saying, okay, God, now's the time to do this. And I don't always do that with every, every campaign that we do. I try to give generously, but this one, my wife and I are like trying to stretch ourselves a little bit more. So maybe you could look at, God, how could you stretch us a little bit more? to make an impact. Look, you can come here to Mercy Road Church, be a part, be invested, and never give a dime. You can be on leadership and tithe regularly and never give to a campaign like this. But I, I want to encourage you to at least pray about what could you do to help us expand the vision of this church, make the biggest impact. We're going to get there. Please, we want you to be a part. I'd love 100% participation in this and for you to pray about, even if it's a small amount, what could you have me do? And maybe God even stretches your faith, like he did the, the, the people giving the $150,000 grant, stretched their faith and said, I feel called to do this. And I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm going to do it, and now it's gonna happen. What could God do with you? Pray about it, thank you for investing. You can give online, uh, use the tab, Expand the Vision Campaign. You can write Expand the Vision Campaign in the memo of your check. Uh, or you can uh, send a check directly from your bank with Expand the Vision on it, made out to Mercy Road Church. Thank you guys so much. I love serving at this church, being a part of it. Be praying about the season. I can't wait to see how God utilizes these resources to change our world for Christ. Thanks for watching this.